Good day. Welcome again to another edition of the Labor Agenda TV Show. I'm your host, Corey Hess, the president of IBEP Local 1288 Union. And I'm Rick Thompson, business manager of IBEW Local 1288 Union. Rick, you're, as a Rick, man, I, I'm, I hope that the people inside of Shelby County, especially in the city of Memphis, because this is going to affect them more so than anything, I hope and I pray that we don't let Sigma Slinker come out the grave. And, and what I mean by that is this 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 thing about Memphis Light Gas and Water leaving TVA. That's gonna be a bad deal for the citizens of Memphis, especially Shelby County as a whole. Well, it looks like everybody getting on the bandwagon for it. It looks like uh the power to be have decided that they want to get rid of uh, TVA. And, you know, if you go back into history, Corey, mm -hmm. go back 50 years ago, mm -hmm. the same thing happened. What they did, Memphis Light, Gas, and Water were going to leave TVA. Right. And they got this big old bond that they financed, put all that debt on Memphis Light, Gas, and Water, and then we end up back with TVA. <laughs> uh, the same thing is happening again because what's happening now is, if you notice, every time the city of Memphis owns something, they like to give it away. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the fat cats come in here and they see where they can make a permanent, uh, 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 a permanent uh, money grab, mm -hmm. and uh, they come in here and we give things away and you have a few people get rich. Just like we used to have our own, uh, what, what, when you do the, the black, black top the streets. Paving. Paving. We that we own that. Yeah, we, we black topped our own streets. And we had our own. Well, the Harrison, still got the plant over there. We still got the plant over there, but <laughs> Willie Harrington <laughs> gave it away. Yeah. Now we got paid hundreds of millions of dollars on pay by pay by streets. the streets when we had our own paving uh, company What's over there. there. The plant is still over there on the island, like you said. But now we own our own utility company. Mm -hmm. We got our own transmission lines. That's true. We are the only uh, utility company within TVA network within uh, in these four or five states that own our own transmission lines. And now you got all this all these companies want to get to it. You you know, you know what what makes you like this? Bob Bob where former council one Bob where said all the time. Like gas and water should not worry about being being like somebody else. Like gas and water should worry about being like gas and water. Uh, we are unique to the point where we own our own transmission line for electric water and gas. That makes us a unique entity within itself. What they trying to do, you got the fat cast. And if you don't watch out, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They can't sell MLGW without a vote, but they can sell. Uh, they can get around selling MLGW by leasing everything out yes. where you don't own it, uh, you don't own nothing but the name. That's it. But what's going to happen is with them trying to go to MISO and they selling us utility, what they, what they don't know, if you look on MISO's uh, website, you'll see that MISO buy electricity on the open market. Daily. Daily. for, And they pay for whatever it costs daily. TVA sell you a flat rate every, uh, period. Regardless. And you have to get into like a bidding war mm -hmm. with other utilities that are trying to buy the same electricity from MISO mm -hmm. in the, on, the, on the open market. Because they don't generate no, no electricity. They buy it on the open market. TVA generate electricity. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is, is uh, when they buy it, when they sell that electricity on the open market, you basically be bidding on it. And if you don't outbid the people who are trying to get it, you are gonna have some rolling blackouts. And not all of that. That rate gonna be higher. The rate gonna be higher. <laughs> that rate gonna be higher because you they, they start be bidding on it. There's only so much electricity you can get. Now, why would you leave a sure thing for possibility? That's right. Now, well, you're going to leave somebody that you know generates electricity. That's right. To go to somebody that 
have to buy it, then you buy it from them, basically. Because that, that's what you do. That's right. But now, what if you go there and the door is closed? That's right. <laughs> that's right. But what if you go there and the door is closed? That's right. So, you go there, the door closed, then all of a sudden you ain't got no electricity. You're going to have rolling blackouts. You're going to have blackouts. But so, with TBA, you got a guaranteed thing. Right. You know, all right, when I send you this bill, I got electricity coming. That's right. I already know it's being generated over here. That's right. I got, this is guaranteed to me. See, this is what, this is why MLGW is so important to the fat cats. Is when, my, if MISO came here, see, MISO wants to keep expanding, mm -hmm. but they can't, they can't expand. They, they come all the way up to Crittenden County in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. But there is no hookup for them out there in, out they pass Crittenden County. So they need MLGW and all the transmission lines. They're going to get the city of Memphis to be able to pay $8.3 billion to build transmission lines. Yep. That way, MISO would be able to hook up. If they ever hook up in Memphis, mm -hmm. then they can start selling electricity to, to Fayette County, Tipton uh, County, Tipton County go, all up to uh, go all the way up to uh, uh, South and North Carolina. You better push. You basically almost better buy TBA then. They need Joker Wolf. They need Joker But they need Memphis rate payers to have to pay for all this stuff. And there ain't going to be no savings. And it, what gets me is all these people on the internet that's saying that we can use this $400 million to gap the city budget. We can use the $400 million to help uh, MATA. Uh, we're going to need the city, uh, we can use it for 100 million. The first place, it ain't no 400 million dollars. Sure ain't. And then, even if, it, uh, even if it was, you can't use utility money to, to, to use it for anything other than utilities. That's it. If it's 400 million dollars saving, you got to lower the utility bills. What? But, 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 but Rick, here's the thing. The, the, the other part of it is, they only saying that, that $400 million is, is a saving for one time. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thing is, is you don't hear the people, you don't hear the people in the city of Memphis like Jim Strickland. You don't hear the people, no politicians. You don't hear none of these people saying, we can use that $400 million to, get it, to, to, get to uh, bridge the gap in the, in the, in the city budget. You don't hear them say that. Nope. Because they understand you can't do it. You hear the only thing you hear, you hear you hear those outsiders out there mm -hmm. that they got saying that. They got them saying that. Yeah. Because they can't say that because they know that you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can't they know it's against the law to do it. Look, anytime the entities, you can't take money from electric to help out the gun, the gas, and you can't, you can't take money from the gas to help out the water. That's that right. should tell you right there, you can't cross. And you we have never been able to use any money of my gas and water. They have about the city. You, you cannot cross subsidy. Nope. But to, even on each other, like McCord just said, you can't you can't even use electric money to help gas, and gas money to help water. And water and gas money to help electric. You, you can't even do that. Nope. That's against the law. Then you can't use uh any savings, so called savings, because there ain't no savings. And if you notice, you never heard Jim Strickland. You never heard uh, 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 J.T. Young. Nope. You never heard M.L.D. the board member. Nope. And you never heard any other the politicians say. No city council member. Or no city council member say that we can use that four hundred million dollars to help out the city budget, to help out M.T.A. and all that other stuff because they know it's against the law. It, they want you to think that. Yeah. But it is, they already know for themselves it ain't gonna happen. And, and, and Rick, here's the other thing. They always want to say you could take light gas and water and bail out everybody. Yeah. Why do you need light gas and water? You can't do it anyway. You can't do it anyway. You, mean, you can't take nothing off light gas and water and bail nobody out in the city of the county for that matter. That's right. Nobody. <laughs> and you can't even use the state. The state can't even get none of that money. That's right. So it, it, it's nothing but a, a farce. It, they try to bamboozle the people into saying this is a great idea, and Rick, you know like I do, 8.3 billion? You're really talking about 20 billion dollars. That's what you're really talking you about. You gotta pay them bonds back. Oh, man. They're gonna take you 20 years to put the seal saving. Most of y'all in the say if, if there was such thing as saving, most of y'all in the savings come, most, most of you be dead. It, it, most of you be dead, but back, but folks, the, the, here's what, here's the thing. 
They are looking to get that money. And when the check get ready to hit the bank, you're going to have all them fat cats, all the politicians, everybody who, who had their hands in their cooker job, going to get that money off the top. That's right. And the citizens, they're going to pay the bill. Going to pay the bill and going to be left with it. Then they're going to be going, that, that, hey, I had nothing to do with me. Think about this, though, Corey. If we decide to leave TVA, it's going to take five years. You got to give them a five year notice. So you can't even leave for five years. Every single politician that's going to be involved in this mess will, have, will be gone. All of them will be gone. They have their money and gone. Yep. And Memphis will be paying for something just like we're paying for smart meters today. Yes, yes. We'll be on the hook forever. <laughs> Folks, look, there's nothing. The game, they trying to start this game. And, and Rick, I'm going to tell you, they doing it right now. At the expense of the people because of the pandemic that's going on. That's right. Because they know people ain't paying attention to this. Ain't people ain't paying they, attention. They ain't paying attention to what's really going on. It's like I always say sometimes, they muddy the water, but you, 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 what you're looking for is right on top. I was but you too busy trying to look at it. I, I was looking at a, a, a Sunday morning show that comes on every Sunday morning on channel, I think it's 24, mm -hmm. uh, with Richard Ransom. And you had. Uh, uh, Tawan Mitchell on that. Right. Saying, we need to just listen to JT Young. He's a professional. We need to listen to JT Young. Whatever he say, we need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> in the first place, in the first place, I don't think you, I think you, yeah, I think you need to listen to what he say. But I don't think you need to do what he just say. Mm -hmm. But I think you need to listen to what he say so you understand that this whole thing is nothing more than a trick. Number one, you can't save none of the money. Nope. And if J.T. Young say we need to leave TVA, you need to hear, I guarantee you uh, J.T. Young is never going to tell you that we can save $400 million and fix MTA up or any of city services based on saving $400 million. Mm -hmm. I promise you he'll never tell you that because he already knows it's against the law. She is good. Look, look. Now, it's against the law, definitely. Now, and I don't mean this to, I don't mean this to be to sound bad, but JT Young have never been a vice president of any company. Mm -hmm. He has never been a president of any company. Mm -hmm. He don't really have the, the, the experience. He was just a supervisor. Of, of wherever you come from, over 30 people. And number number two, he haven't made any investments in this, Memphis yeah. Shepherd County. He haven't even bought my house. He don't even intend to stay here when he when he when when once his time up at MLDW. He didn't intend to get the hell out of Dodge. And get his money and get, and get gone. So <laughs> and I don't mean that from a mean standpoint. I'm look I'm I mean that from uh, talking reality. Our people need to know what's getting ready to happen to them. They're finna get screwed. You finna get screwed again. Yes. They finna put some. They finna put some on you that you wish Senator Sinclair was back putting it on you. Yeah. And look, but what they finna do, Rick, gonna be twenty times worse than what Senator Sinclair did. That's right. It, it, it's it's gonna be just that bad. And like you said, Rick, the people who making this deal, they can be long gone. Look. Smart meters. We keep saying because we in a billion dollar debt with smart meters after we told them that that's what it was going to cost. That's right. And look at it. That city council, it's gone. Their president, it's gone. But you left with that bill. That's and this, this is going to be the same thing. And then what's going to happen is you have a new mayor, a new MLDL president, new city council, they're going to say, hey, we inherited this. Yep. But we still got to pay for it. So I'm telling you, uh, that uh, you getting ready to get screwed today? What we is it? This May of 2020. Mm -hmm. This May of 2020. We're gonna put this on YouTube. Yeah. So that you'll know that when you get screwed, you can go back to the YouTube when you're talking about TVA and MISO, and you'll be able to look this show up by uh, uh, on on on, on uh, YouTube by pulling up Rick Thompson. Corey Hester, mm -hmm. uh, MLGW, or MISO, TVA, or TVA and MISO. 
you're gonna be able to pull that. You're gonna be able to, when you call when you when you when you uh, uh, pull that up on on, on, on YouTube, it's gonna come up in one of them names. Uh, you're gonna be able to pull it up, and you'll see uh, five years in the past that we brought it up and told you that you're gonna be screwed. You're Big not time. gonna you're not gonna be in a better place if you get rid of TVA at this particular time. No, and Rick, and you you think about something. You think about when them utility bills go up? When they when when they, when when my soul's over there in the, the open market trying to sell us electric, and here we is trying to buy, we're trying to outbid how many other companies they sell utilities to? Yep. We trying to outbid them for the lower rate? Cause you know, the lower rates is what everybody wanted, but that late is gonna be doing this. It's gonna steady go up. It's gonna steady go up. So what the hell's it gonna do? That rate gotta go. Somebody gotta pay for that rate. Which means that you never, you won't get us. You can't get a flat rate with MISO. Nope. Cause they buying it on open market for while, whatever it costs at that time. And, but here, here is the thing that gets me most of all too about this rate. Why do here in Memphis, only in Memphis, do our city council want to give up their power? <laughs> because. You no longer control the rate no more. That's right. If, if you go to MISO, you don't control the rate no more. So that little old lady, the little old man, were paying that, that flat rate with TBA. That flat rate can be from, let's just say, 5% with TBA. That flat rate can get almost up to 50% with MISO. And you have no control over it. That's right. Then what you going to do? Exactly right. You, that little old man alone is going to be stuck with that bill. That my son gonna be saying, "Hey, I want my money." They they ain't looking at that. So for it's a lot going on that they really trying to screw the city over with, and they hoping that y'all not paying attention to what's going on. That's right. So you you better. I understand the pandemic, but you better open your eyes because what they finna do to you finna really gonna hit your pocket. That's right. And and, and, and the thing is, is you know the, the bad part is. But the tragedy of the whole thing is most of the people that we're dealing with that don't have to make a decision outside of MLGW have no utility experience. Folks have no zero utility experience and with that we'll be right back after these commercials. Hi, my name is Kimberly Houston and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW, Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. And you can become a giver as well by visiting our website at www. Johnny Dawson Foundation. A blanket and Valentine. <laughs> hey, my name is Marco Sanchez. I'm a first share giver to the IBW Johnny Dawson Charity Foundation. My name is Glenda Hitz, and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Hi, my name is Tommy Foley, and I'm a full fair share giver to the IBEW Charitable Foundation. Giving back is everybody's responsibility in the community. Hi, I'm Bill Hawkins, and I'm an above fair share giver to the IBEW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Happy the community, everybody's responsibility. And welcome back, and, and we have our, our special guest here once again, <laughs> Mr. John Jones, Vice President of Local 12. Hey, hey. We forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, he thought I was absolutely, I'm going to say president. He thought I was absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we get started, or you all get back started again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. It's true. And then it go down the road. That is true. I don't, I'm glad you, you, you brought that up. I want to go over into something look, off the script. When we think about mothers, it makes me think about the mother of the Civil Rights Movement here in the city of Memphis, one can eat. Miss Kenia Crenshaw, how this city ought to be celebrating Mother's Day just for her. Because right. without her, to me, this city would this city right. would be, 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 be you know be behind a lot of things, right? 
because she did so, much, so many great works for the city, and yet this city does not want to recognize her. That's right. And, and that's, that's bad. You know, when you look at the mother of the civil rights movement on Mother's Day, right, and beyond Mother's Day, and, uh, uh, and, and the city don't even recognize her in any capacity, mm -hmm. almost. Uh, and a lot of things we wouldn't even have, we wouldn't, wouldn't be even enjoying today right. had it not been for Mrs. Uh, Cornelia Crenshaw, uh, a woman that I love so dearly. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you have that firsthand teaching, like she did to me, she did for me, uh, it's almost like turning lights on, they can't go off no more. Right, know? right. And uh, it's one thing for somebody to tell you what she did or read what she did, but it's a whole other thing when you're there and seeing some of the things she's doing, she did and talked to her. Right. And she told you about a lot of the stuff that, that happened in the early days that, you know, it amazed me how uh, uh, the black community was, it was, being, was being screwed in Mm -hmm. And the black community is being screwed today. Even worse. <laughs> even worse. <laughs> even worse, man. Even, now, even worse. It amazes mm -hmm. me how, in the early days, black pe black people were screwed mostly by white folk, uh, racist white folk. Mm -hmm. Right. And the majority, and, and the majority of the black community had a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But today <clears throat> we are being screwed by black folk. Yeah. All over again. The same way, and you don't hardly hear nobody hollering and screaming about it. No. And when we start seeing that being screwed by white folk or being screwed by black folk, both are wrong, okay. and start dealing with it uh, accordingly, then we'll start getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. We only feel, we only think it hurt when, when, when we screw by white folk. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> when we get screwed by black folk, it's like, we both accept it. We accept yeah, yeah, it. No, we, right. we, we both accept right. it. We both accept it. And give, we ignore give it. Give a chance. Give them a chance on what? You still, you screwing me. How can I give you a chance? To, to get screwed on You're right, right. But the difference of it is when whites screw whites, Whites get rid of them. That's right. <clears throat> Any other race, you go, you screw over there. People they get rid of you. That's right. If they don't keep, they, they don't keep putting you in office. They don't keep getting you chance after chance after chance. They, hell, they get rid of you the first time. <laughs> if you if you if you look at uh, if you look at white folk, uh, Hispanic, Asian, Jewish, if their people come out and screw them, you don't get a second chance. You don't, you don't get a second chance. And that Jewish people say. Those who you, you must you got to remember your history, mm -hmm. or you right. doomed to repeat it. Right. So yeah. therefore, if you ever notice, whenever that we talk about black history, people go to saying even black folk. Oh man, you need to forget about that. That's in the past. Yeah. That's in the past. You don't even forget about that. But but the Jewish people teaches their people about history. Never never forget it. Three times a day. That's right. And they never That's forget right. it. Never forget. If you look at Hispanic, Hispanics, uh, Latino. When you look at any other race of people, they any never other culture of people. They too. never talk about you need to forget about your history. No. Only black people. You supposed to forget about it. and you got other black folks saying, We need to forget about that. That's, that's old that's, that's old old and done with. What's the saying? History do repeat itself. Oh, ain't no doubt about that. It repeat itself now in reverse. Right. Mm -hmm. It repeat that, that, itself right now. Black folk miss no black folk. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, what was you just talking about? What happened 50 years ago? <laughs> it, it repeats itself time after time after time. The thing about it is blacks always want to erase it and make it seem like it never happened. That's right. Oh, that's in the past. That he he just did that to to, to we a certain we group. We should dwell on the past. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things. We should dwell, dwell on the past. But that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. You you shouldn't let the past control you. That's right. But you should know your past so you make sure it don't happen to you again. Or you see when it's starting to happen right. to you. And your past is your history. That is the purpose of history. When you went to school, you learned about history, events that took place in history. Why come you can't accept your history? Your history, you learn to see the mistakes 
that happened during that time won't repeat itself. But hey, it's repeating itself because we allowed it to repeat ourselves. Well, and not only that, John, the reason why other blacks don't want blacks to know their history. And, and, and like Rick said several months ago, they want to control that man's thinking. You control that man's mind. You got everything else. That's right. You, you, you got everything else under control. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. What you say, Ricky? Act without even thinking about it. He just do. Wait. When you control a man, a man thinking, you don't have to worry about their action. They right. act without being told, mm -hmm. because their education made it necessary for them to act the way they act. Mm -hmm. In fact, they already know that when they get ready to confront that white man, they got they need to go to the back door. <laughs> and there, if there ain't no back door, they'll cut one in. They'll cut one in. And then make one. Make one. Yeah. Well, well, just, well, just a screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look, then it'll be plumbed and level. Yeah. <laughs> they'll make a door. Mm -hmm. And you notice uh, all the black folk that, that's, uh, well, most of the black folks and politicians, and that are politicians in, in Memphis and Shelby County today, they are being controlled uh, uh, by that white man. Mm -hmm. therefore, therefore, you don't have to worry about their action. They're going to act without being told. Mm -hmm. Because they are not going to do anything in contradictory of what that white man wants them to do. That's right. They automatically don't do it. That's right. No, they sure don't. So, but that's, that's, that's the thing. John, what do you think about employers working at home? Ooh, well, what I think about that, uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, good. I was looking at TV the other night, uh, John, and they were saying, the professionals were saying that all over the country, you got these employees working at home. And they were saying that uh, most of these employees might as well get ready because most of them is not going to come back to work. They're not going to have those jobs because the employer is saying now that they really don't need them, those jobs. So in other words, the company set them up and the employer set themselves up there. <laughs> exactly right. And right now, if you look at even at MLGW and the city of Memphis and all these places, they are so happy yes. to be working at home. Mm -hmm. And if they forget, they, uh, again, they forgot their history. Right. The fat cats have never made a system where the little man right. or the working man benefited from. Right. No. Right. There's never been a system in all the world right. from the beginning of time where uh, the fat cats made a system for your convenience. Right. And for for your good, right. mm -hmm. it was always where they made the money. It always worked to their advantage, and it was always them put they put your their feet on your neck. It's like it's like the employees don't have the thought process to say, wait a minute, I can see something that's coming down the road. Yep. You you should know when the man puts something in front of you. What does it say? When they dangle it, that carrot, mm -hmm. so that should tell you this. This ain't no good idea. That's right. And and, and, and you got them pushing you that way. Mm -hmm. And here it is. You you gonna go about it? They gonna uh, oh, yeah. The thing is that when they start letting them people work at home, Corey, in the past, I would have been out there hollering, screaming, "Y'all yeah, don't need to do it." Mm -hmm. But that train was coming down the track. That locomotive will come down the track that anybody yeah, got in front of it going to get rolled over. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that, 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 that locomotive, it was 10 inches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that locomotive rolling, boy. And it's still rolling. Yeah. You get in front of that track. Yeah. That train, you get in, get on that track and that train roll, the way that train rolling right now. Mm -hmm. Your own people will roll over you like you a uh, hamburger meat. It's, man, it's like putting you in a grinder. Oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. You'd be the track. They make a track out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they think that the very people that they've been fighting all these years, mm -hmm. that they never had their best interest at heart, right. all of a sudden are they friends right. and they got their interest at heart. No. Look, but that's what they think. Well, that's what they think. Well, what they think. you know what you're saying? You know what they're really saying? The company gave me something. <laughs> and when has that ever happened? I, I can make the money at home and don't even have to leave home. Oh, my and, and and they even got I, I even got direct deposit with me. I don't even have to never go to work. No. I just stay at home and they deposit money and check in, yeah. in my account. That's right. But let me tell you what's gonna happen, John. Uh -huh. 
And just remember, today the day is May 2020. Right. The day gonna come when you're gonna be able to look at this film and those same people okay. it's gonna try to they're gonna try I'm gonna have to lock the gate on on the union hall, because they're gonna try to break in the gate one though. Why you let them people lay me off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. How come I how come you didn't tell me I ain't supposed to, I shouldn't have went home and took no well, took no well, job well, at home. Well, before you do that, we get John going to follow the board to reinforce the gate. Cause there's gonna be a whole lot. Right. <laughs> I think more. I think more. There's gonna be a whole lot of more than that. Oh, now we have to be as safe as it is. Then what's gonna be mad about it? They gonna say uh, the company gonna lay them off, mm. but they're not gonna be mad at the company. Nope. They gonna be mad at the union. And say why you let them do me that way? But we didn't but tell you to go home. No. They ain't gonna take no responsibility, and they ain't gonna put no responsibility on the company. Anytime. Something like this is going on that you you should know. They should know that this is not a good benefit for you. This is not a good look. Who's at home? Who's at work watching your job? You ain't watching. You don't know. You don't know what's going on in the building because you ain't there. You don't know what they plan. You don't even know what they're talking about because you're not <coughs> in that building. So. You working from home, it may look good to you, but at the end of the day, it ain't a good look for you. It's right. not. Because you basically showing them folks they can run work, they can do this work without you. That's basically well, what you're showing them. Yeah. And you got a whole lot of employees that is just happy go look up this damn thing. I mean, they, man, they is thrilled. And, 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 and they can, while they at home, while they're doing their breakfast and stuff, sitting down there eating a bowl of this, that, and the other, the company's restructuring the areas. That's right. They're being oh, restructured, restructured. And they don't even know about it. Mm -hmm. And look, re not only that, reevaluating their jobs, too. Oh, well, that's, that's right. That's true. <laughs> and i tell you something else. They got direct deposit. What's being deposit now? Well, they still deposit their chicken now. Oh, but sooner or later, that's going to dry up, isn't it? Sure they, is. Sooner or later. So but right now they're happy because they still get yeah, they yeah, have to yeah, leave home yeah. and still get a check. They have to get a check, but I mean sooner or later that, that wheel is going to dry. They, what, 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 what JT is doing, mm -hmm. he got uh, uh, eight IT. He got IT pulling their stats on the work they do. Three and four times a day. They pulling them stats every single day, giving it to him. And what they're seeing, a lot of employees only working one and two hours a day. Excuse me. And you know what? It was better to be at work than to be at home. Well, but see, John, that's what that, that's, that's, I, that's, you know, that's I, people, they're not looking at that. I, I know. They're not looking at the fact that when you was at work, it made it seem like you was working all day long. Right. Now you at home, they actually see it. Man, that's right. They ain't nothing but, they ain't they got enough work to do for an hour. Uh, so ain't no more shaming. No! So what they're doing now, but if you can say you got three, you got, you got four people. Right. Took four clerks. Okay. Okay. And, and and they're working two hours a day. But then what they're saying, wait a minute, we can get rid of three clerks and make this one clerk work eight hours and we still get and the same work done. Work done. That's and, right. uh, uh, and then bring in a bring in a part time so when the clerk be off. <laughs> substitute. Substitute. Yeah. Substitute teaching. Yeah. I'm telling you, this thing this thing it got a lot of people e reevaluating in their their workforce. Right. And, and, and Rick, so many employees handed it to them. That they had the the, 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 the fat cat came in with this idea and probably look, all y'all do is pitch it. Well, you ain't got to do it because they're going to do a fight. Employees going to do a fight. That's right. And that's what happened. The employees ran out there and gave the company everything they need. Sure did. So when the company come back and said, we done did an evaluation and study of job, Huh? Where was I at? Oh, you was at home when we did it. And, and, and here, go, here go what you did. All. Here go your work that right. you did every day for eight hours for the last right. six months. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, you done did about, uh, in six months, you done did about two months worth of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we don't find out in an eight hour period, you really only working an hour. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. So now they finna save on them salaries mm -hmm. and save on all them benefits. And then they send a lot of these people, uh, they're supposed to be, uh, Signing on at eight o'clock, yeah, or seven o'clock. Yeah. They ain't signing on to one o'clock, and then some kind of way the computer get knocked off, mm -hmm. and uh, 
the Wi Fi go see they, it. They, they actually don't hear from them no more until the next day or, or, or when it's time to get off. So they ain't really doing no work. They, they, I'm telling you, the people company is monitoring this stuff close. They, they, look, they, but if you told them that, if I told them that, you know what they're going to do? They'd be uh -huh. mad at me. Yeah, you just don't want me to work from home. You just don't want mm -hmm. me to work from home. Mm -hmm. You want me to stay out here. And you know what they're going to do? This is what they're going to do. If I told them. Okay. They're going to run and ask the very person who will monitor. Oh, no, we monitor you. Nah. Rick lied. Well, you know, nah. you, you know your famous quotation. <laughs> it lied like a dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. The, 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 those employees would believe the person who monitored them, right. that they tend to get rid of them, over the person who actually gave them the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, Rick, you know, I, I, had, I had one that asked me, I want to do the camera first on the laptop. I said, you honestly think they're going to give you a laptop and not have everything working on it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you honestly think they're going to, they ain't going to be able to, they want to watch you while you work? Of course it's on. Of course, they give them everything and every tool they can to track them while they ain't home, and we'll be, we'll be right back out of these commercials. Let the record reflect that my name is Mrs. Carnesia Crenshaw, and I reside at 603 Vance Avenue. Let the record also reflect that I have been in many of the budget hearings, and that I am here very frequently to look in on what the council is doing. I have had some pretty rough times down here, but that doesn't matter. I'm here again to do what I feel is necessary to be done. Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw was the mother of the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw spearheaded the strategy committee that brought Dr. Martin Luther King to Memphis. Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw coined the phrase, I am a man, used as a rallying cry to help the Memphis sanitation workers and to put energy back into the Memphis sanitation strike. Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw stated that education is an important element in our struggle and the passport to our future. Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw understood that knowledge is power. The more knowledge we have, the more power we have. Therefore, I pose, I am a woman. I pose, I am for education in our communities. I pose, I am empowerment. I pose, I am women equality. I pose, I am elimination of prejudice and discrimination. I pose, I am promotion of economic development. Together, we are keeping Ms. Cornelia Crenshaw legacy alive. Hi, my name is Kimberly Houston, and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW, Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation, and you can become a giver as well by visiting our website at www.johnnydawsonfoundation.org. A blanket and Valentine's. <laughs> hey, my name is Marco Sanchez. I'm a first year giver to the IBW Johnny Dawson Charity Foundation. My name is Glenda Hitz, and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Hi, my name is Tommy Foley, and I'm a full fair share giver to the IBEW Charitable Foundation. Giving back is everybody's responsibility in the community. Hi, I'm Bill Hawkins, and I'm an above fair share giver to the IBW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Happy community, everybody's responsibility. You, you know, Rick, the, the, the craziest thing about all of this is you got so many people trying to take advantage of this thing and work from home. That's right. And not realizing I'm putting myself in this in this this this, this bucket that I'm gonna have to fight for a job at the end of the day. That's right. That, Folks, people ain't sending you home for no reason. I'm telling you right. this. That's right. They sending you home because they they realize, look at the amount of work that you're doing, which is probably not enough eight hours. Then they probably looking and saying, how many people I got doing the same damn job? And they don't forgot about it. JT already sent the thing out saying they need to get rid of 400 people. Oh well, man, they ain't gay. They ain't no doubt that. And 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 what what JT have found out is. If, if, I'm talking about getting rid of 400 people. I can get rid of 800. Yeah, I, I can double that, man. Elevate that up. 
I, I, I can I can double that amount because everybody giving it then gave me everything I need. You you got half of the workforce at home. Right. The only ones that's not at home the folks that are working in the field. Every anybody that's dealing with the office side of of it, they're at home. What's so bad about it? You got these people asking JT. When this pandemic is over, can we still work at home? That, that's Ooh. the craziest damn thing. And he told them, well, you know, we got to look at it. Oh, he'll look at it. Well, I ain't going to look at it, nigga. See, now you can put it in front of him. And what, uh, what, what, they, what he didn't tell them is, oh, yeah, you're going to be at home. Oh. <laughs> You can do. You can work. In, you can work and do whatever you want. 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 You can post as much stuff as you want on Facebook now. Mm -hmm. Cause right. you can, Cause yeah, you can be home. You can be home permanently. Mm -hmm. See, that that's the one thing that you're right. They ain't looking at that. That's right. They're not looking at the fact that at the end of the day, when all this is over with, all of them employees that's at home, only about ten percent of them coming back. If that. That, if, yeah, that if, if that amount, if that, because right now, right now, we got 800 people working at home. Woo! A lot of folks. We got, we got a little bit over, we, we, it's about 820 people working at home. 10% of that. Woo. 800 plus, that means we got one third of all the people that work for MLDW at home. working from home. And, and, and you just giving your job away. I, I imagine how many routes and file clerks throughout the company that does the same damn thing I'm doing over time. And the thing about it is, you got all the routes and file clerks throughout the company. They got them, they, they took them all from uh, throughout the company mm -hmm. and put them all downtown in Custom Council Records. No, they did. They got, yeah, put them all down there in Custom Council Records. So, and, and, and they got so mad. Uh -huh. and not them, they get mad at them. They got mad at, they got mad at the union. union. Yeah, they got mad at the union. Because they said, we don't want to work downtown. We want to work at the Simmons because you had some at, at Sheen, uh -huh. some yeah. at North Sun, okay. Okay. and yeah. some at... Uh, you had electric operations. Electric yeah. And they took them all and put them downtown. And now uh, uh, they got mad at me. They, they, all mad. they were so mad at me they couldn't even see. I'm paying you and you, and you let them put us downtown. I said, I said the memorandums don't control where you work at. Mm -hmm. We can't. They can. They can. They got a right to put you wherever they want you, as long as they don't stop your money. Right. As long as they treat you fairly. Right. But we don't want to work here. We don't want to work at downtown. Now what they did, they let them all work from home. All the well, it's four or five of them. The six all together. They they work from home now. They work from home. Keep in mind that. They ain't doing them, but doing time. <laughs> right. right. I, I mean, you 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 giving your job away. Your, your job away. You giving it away. When you was at work, it made it seem like you was busy. Yeah. Now you at home. Now you, analyzing your work. It's my way. Man, uh, uh, analyzing, cutting. Uh, hey, they they. They doing everything that they need to do without having to bring in a consultant to do it. Cause we we giving it to them. Cause we know. I bet they said, I, know, they, I bet they said, Lord, how in the world this fell in my lap? Like this <laughs> <laughs> just fell in my lap. And, and look, it fell in a lot because our our employees they're not thinking. And what's so bad about it, you got you know you got the president him uh, J T called in on the radio mm -hmm. and talked to all the employees. Mm -hmm. Right. And they so happy. Then when they get off, they so happy while they talking to them. Then they get off the phone and they call me or when I see them, man, JT was on the, and he never answered no questions. Every time we ask him a direct question, he talk around our answer. Mm -hmm. You don't know, we don't know no more when, when he get off the, when he get off the, off the, off the radio, uh, uh, than we do when, before he got up in there. But then he mad at that man too because he won't answer the question. But they ain't mad at me because I was because because he won't answer questions. Answer. You need to tell JT you need to answer answer our question. Now you need to tell JT <laughs> that you he need to answer right. what you asked. That's right. You you, you want to ask him a question? You you get look you the one out here giving this man in management everything that they need. You giving it to him, but. Cause he won't answer the question. Hey, don't be get mad at the union. That's right. Don't don't get mad.
man at the end of the day, they, like you said, when, they keep, when you get that letter, the man said, break, bro, turn in all your company equipment. And when you get here, pick up your last chick on the way out the door. Don't get mad at the company. Don't get mad at the young people. Yeah, they're going to have that, gonna have that letter, too. Uh, to pick up your last check, the equipment must be in operating order. Good operating order. Or. Or. Or, or, or we're going to subtract that out your check. Or we're going to subtract that out your check. Because, see, a lot of them, when they tell them to bring it in, they ain't going to know what's going on. No, 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 no. They're going to have them there on the email now. You gonna email? You've been laid off. <laughs> they gonna know. Ooh. They gonna already have on the email. Cause they gonna send emails out to everybody, everybody that they want to lay off and say you are no longer uh, sorry to regret, but uh, because of the workforce. And you already know your mind. You ain't been doing no damn work. Uh -huh. uh, that uh, uh, we don't have to. Uh, we have a short in finances, and we don't have to lay you off. Well, well, better yet, this is part of our uh, reduction plan. <laughs> no, like I'm saying, this part of our reduction plan, and you just have to be one of the casualties of war, because you gave it to them. And we have been uh, conducting uh, uh, this evaluation right. ever since you've been right. at home, uh -huh. and and we noticed that there have been a sharp of, of, of reduction in, in work. There's no uh, you even, no production. You haven't been producing anything, and after after further uh, evaluation, uh, we don't need. Uh, ten people in your department. We only need four Two. people. Two. <laughs> okay. It's like that saying in football when they um, go to a replay. Our final review is your employee with the company no longer exist. Need it. The company stands. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna say if they buy you, they're gonna say we. Uh, they're gonna say in accordance with the memorandum of understanding. understanding. Yes. Your union book. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's a reduction in force, we are going by uh, the most senior person. Right. Uh, we have a choice to stay here. The least senior person. We go. We started with them all the way up, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna tell them. Uh, your your rights under the memorandum is you can bump back to your last department if the department still exists and right. you have more seniority. Well, <clears throat> if you've never left your department, then you ain't got nowhere to go. You got nowhere to go, right? You got one move to make. Out the door. Out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you got one move to make. That's out the door. And 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 that's gonna have a whole lot of problems gonna be home. Right. Oh oh. They, well, I'm just gonna bump back. What, what are you gonna bump back to? Well, there's no problem. It's gone. Where you gonna go? So you, you get you don't you giving everything up, and you giving all the ammunition to the company to use. Right. You giving it to them. But John, what do you what do you think about all this crazy discipline that the company is doing to the employees? Wow. This is some of the this, this, right now. You got some of the most harshest discipline. Discipline ever put on an employee. At, at like ever. And now they trying to reduce force that way. Yeah. But don't like that moving fast enough. No. But they so so not only are they reducing the force by discipline employees, but you know this, like I said, the fire is helping them out too. Right. But, yeah. but it's frivolous. But you've been how long you been with the company? I've been with the company uh, pretty near thirty years. In thirty years, the discipline is going on now. When you say this, is the harshest discipline under this administration than under any administration that you have worked on. Yes, it is very harsh because. They allow that to happen. They're not giving the employees any benefit, any of, the doubt. benefit of the doubt, any chance at all. And they even violate their own uh, rules, uh, or from oral to written. But they're going straight to written. No, or time off. Time off. That's time what they're going to. Time off. The biggest of it is time off on frivolous uh, issues that could be. The, the thing is, is Especially if you're black. Oh. If yeah. you're black, they don't believe in giving you warnings no more. No. They don't. They. 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 If you lucky, if you get a written reprimand. Yeah. Uh. But most of the, the discipline for black employees is a day off. Definitely. Start a day off. Stop. Definitely. Definitely. Day off. Definitely. So they, they gonna definitely do that. I don't see any. You know what? When I go back to when I first started with the company, you know, we had that federal consent decree on the company. Back in the early days, that was in the 70s uh, when I first started, and you know they were putting this kind of discipline on on black black employees because they were putting this on white was a white employee was almost non-existent, right? And they were putting it on black employees, white folk were doing. Mm -hmm. 
Now what's going to happen, the discipline is worse than then, and then people who are doing it mostly is black people. And, 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 and look, our folks is the main one that want to hurry up and run you out of here. Get you out of here. They the main one. I, I, you got to go. Right. Like, I, we don't win, we, you know, because you know, we used to talk, we, we, I get in match, man, I ain't going to be like that. Man, get mad at me the worst person. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, the I mean, worst person didn't matter. Oh, man. You was... look up, man, the simplest thing. But we'd have to have a special really? show. The three days special. To tell all the. But, you know, but that's what they did. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. And it's no different than sitting in government. We. We're mistreating our own. Oh, that's right. That, that's exactly what that's what happened here at Memphis Mike Gas and Water. You look at some of these folks that's in management now, they have no way in hell they've been in management in the back. No. They would they would have made that they, they would have made it. If past management that would have promoted these people. Right. Oh, All these people, right. most of the people who are being promoted today would be rejects from the other management. Right. And they probably don't even made it to no supervisor position. But those the ones They wouldn't even made it to a, 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 a foreman. Right. Maybe even not even a crew leader. Right. Look, those, those the ones that kept that talked all that mess, but soon they got in men. Right. Those main ones that came down and want to give you a one to three to five day suspension off the top. That's right. Off the top. And some of them want to fire you off the top. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. It's like it's like they got to prove. Well. They that they on the team by proving that they'll get rid of black folks. That's right. And this, this, they want that merit, that they are, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, strong in uh, serving whatever you need, whatever it takes to uh, uh, keep my job, mm -hmm. first of all. And they're not going to go against the system, but they're going to protect the system. I mean, because you, you, you think about all of the managers that have been over the call center. They didn't have a problem. You know, they had issues when, when they had white white managers over there, Bob and Larry them. But when they got all them blacks, man, them black did, did the call centers, man, did it in. They came with all the different work rules, being in and out of break, this state, that state. And it was all designed to get rid of them with the blacks. Right. That's, that's all it was about. And that's what you got today. It seemed like when white folk working in these jobs, uh, they, they're supervisors, they're managers, and they're vice presidents, and you got white, a most majority of white workers, it seems like they understand mm -hmm. that there are people, they're not going to put no undue pressure on their people. <coughs> Soon as a black person they go, and the company, and I tell you what, as long as that department stays mostly whites, them black folks, it's, uh, they, they fine. So it is. They say, but you might say they say. As soon as that department turn majority black, black, them black folk and, and child go crazy. Yeah, sure I got to make some changes. And <clears throat> and if it's majority black, they're, they're never going to see nothing but when black do something wrong. Right. And when the majority of black, they want to change everything in the department. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, they want to find everything that's wrong. They saying this was done, bit, this was wrong. But when it, when it was all white, it ran just fine. <laughs> What's wrong with it? And, and this 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 is what the policy was. This is how the work ethic was. These were the work rules. But the men, it become all black. All that goes out the window. Yeah. <laughs> all that goes out the window. They are put out. in place to do <coughs> that. They are put in place to serve for them. I, 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 I tell you. We are going rapidly. We are our worst known enemy when we get into management. Yeah. Because there, there's nothing that we trying to do to help. The black only thing we doing is discipline. Making it worse. Make, you, you make it worse in passing on nothing but harsh discipline right. over, any, over, over the, the smallest, smallest thing. Smallest little thing. Frivolous. That's all it is, frivolous. That's the reason why black is and warm that's the reason why so many employees is about to lose their job whenever this pandemic thing is over with. Because they, they're not seeing the big picture that what this company right. is really doing and what's what's going on. Right. Some so many of them are gonna get left out behind, left in the cold because they they're just thinking the company letting them work for home for free. Right. 
let them ride around on the clock, get them the laptop, get them the, the, the radio, get them a cell phone. They think all of that comes to doing all the kind of they. Oh, they got it made. By the goodness of their heart. <laughs> and not realize they don't have a heart. It's true, man. Well, no heart to No, they don't, don't realize that, hey, time is coming when we have to make these cuts. Yeah, I can be the first one we can make cuts at. Because you got it right at home. <laughs> so, hey. Believe you me, the door's open. And look, that door is gonna be open, but what's gonna be bad? The minute they got to turn their equipment in, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna leave that off and be gonna be flying down Lamar. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, gonna get four or five speed tickets mm -hmm. getting trying to get down mm -hmm. Lamar to the U-Haul. Mm -hmm. Really? What we, well, and they, what's their favorite word? What we gonna do? Right. <laughs> what we gonna do? No, it might not be that. It might be what you gonna, gonna do. do. Rick, right. what you gonna do? What the union gonna do? For, for what? We didn't tell you to go home. We, th we, we told you to stay. To, to stay. Now, the last words. Well, we're going through something right now, and uh, this thing has to, how you say it, play itself out. Yeah. It definitely got to play itself out. Man, look, folks, look, don't be, don't be bamboozled. Pay attention to what's going on in this city, because there's right. a lot going on. Pay attention. And by all means, get prepared to vote. Until next time, I'm Corey Heston. I'm Rick Thompson. And I'm John Jones. We'll see you again on the Label of the TV Show on Tamara Production Network. Hi, Come my name is Kimberly Friday. Houston, and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW, Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. And you can become a giver as well by visiting our website at www.johnnydawsonfoundation.org. A blanket and... Hey, my name is Marco Sanchez. I'm a first share giver to the IBW Johnny Dawson Charity Foundation. My name is Glenda Hicks, and I am a fair share giver to the IBEW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Hi, my name is Tommy Foley, and I'm a full fair share giver to the IBEW Charitable Foundation. Giving back is everybody's responsibility in the community. Hi, I'm Bill Hawkins, and I'm an above fair share giver to the IBW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. Happy community, everybody's responsibility. My name is Tamara, host of Real Talk with Tamara, and I'm also the CEO of Tamara's Productions Network. Starting this month, Tamara's Productions Network is going to start shining a light on female business owners. So, if you know of a female business owner that's doing great things for the community, give me a call at 901-801-2120. Being a female business owner myself, I feel that it is important to shine a light on females that are doing great things for this community. So make sure you give me a call at 901-801-2120 so that I can have her right here in my studio to interview her so that my audience can see all the great things she's doing for the community. And that's going to happen right here on Tamara's Productions Network, Comcast Channel 31. Well, I am so excited, y'all. Check this out. I want you to advertise your business today. Give Tamla TV Network a call at 901-801-2120. That's 901-801-2120. Give her a call today. It's Tamra's TV Network.